Here we go. Hooks around the back of the crab. Definitely around the back. Look at the size of that claw, bro. No way. This is a bloody good crab. Oh my goodness. Oh my good God. Out you come, big boy. Come on. <laughs> what is going on, doggies? Welcome back to another video. All right. We're out in the mangrove system right now. We are up to no good. We've got the bow and arrow. We've got a big, dirty crab hook here. And the aim of the game is pretty much to walk around this mangrove system the whole entire day, hunting the biggest, most beautiful pieces of seafood we possibly can. So what we're doing right now, the tide is just about to pump up to its highest point. So I'm gonna use the bow and arrow, fully old school. We're gonna sniper around these mangrove systems, see if we can shoot a couple of fish. And then as that tide drains out, we're gonna put this crab hook to work and hopefully, fingers crossed, we get a big, juicy crab, like I'm talking a monster crab, start a fire up on the bank, have a hell feed. That's the plan, but look, we're out here in the middle of nowhere. Anything could happen right now. Let's, um, let's dig in. This is one of my favorite things ever to do. Shoot fish with the bow and arrow, and then on the low tide, hunt for those monster, monster crabs. This is gonna be a bloody good day. There's five or six bony herring right there. Have a look at that. Don't know if you can see that. Five or six bony herring. And then you look over here and look at the size of that school of fish right there. They're old trumpeter or grunter. Call them whatever you want. There are hundreds of them. That's not really what I'm targeting. They're pretty small. There is no shortage of fish out here. Have a look at that. Heaps, man. It's not what we're looking for. Keep punching on up here. All right, it is safe to say that there is a smorgasbord of fish out here. So many different fish, but what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna be super selective with my shots. I'm only gonna take shots at fish that I wanna keep. So what I've got in my mind right now is shooting a big sea mullet. If I can get one of them, that is my aim. That's my goal. But there's a lot of other fish, a lot of other species around here. I can literally see mullet right here. They're not massive, but there's mullet. So there's a lot of fish in this area and um, Look, really now what I want to do is get a, um, get a big crab and chuck that on the fire tonight. But while this tide's high, we're just going to keep shooting fish or trying to shoot fish. And um, I'm just going to be real selective, only shooting the biggest fish I see. There's a very strange stuff going out the back here. I'll show you what this is. What is that? Can you guys see that massive school of fish just here? Big school of fish. Let's go and have a shot. I'm gonna come around the back and stop them before they get to that headland over there. They're moving fast. They're moving real fast. I reckon if we can get to this headland up here, they should hug the land, they should hug the shore. We might be able to cut them off. Maybe. Ah, they come right up here, then they pushed back. Out, they're heading back to where they come from. So they're obviously just doing laps. Oh my God, look at the mullet right there. Check this out. Ooh. Oh, you are very, very lucky. Look at them all. Hey. Oh my God. Oh doggies, we're on. Look at this. Look at this. Here we go. Are we recording? We're recording. Have a go at this. Look at this. You're joking. Are you kidding me? Welcome to Australia. Right here, we've got a big mud crab. And just over my back here, where did he go? There's a black tip reef shark cruising around in the shallow water there. So we've got a shark over here. We've got a crab here. We're in knee deep water. This is living. This is living. Slowly just walking with this crab, he's heading towards that shallow water, so I'm just gonna let him cruise. The reason I'm not picking him up right now is when they're in the water like this, they have the advantage over me. The back, the back two swimmers, they can use them to propel themselves very quickly around in the water, and if he nips me out here, look, that thing will take my finger off. He's a big boy, and um, little sh it's actually two sharks there. Have a look, there's two sharks out the back. Not too sure if you can see that shark, but 
We just keep, gotta keep an eye on this crab. This is epic. <laughs> what a way to start the bloody day. We've got a bow and arrow, we've got a broken arrow, and we have a monster crab. So this is a big, big mud crab. That claw is, that's a gigantic, you can see he's a male, that's a gigantic claw there. He's only got the one claw, so he's obviously been fighting for females or fighting for his territory, but it got pretty chaotic out there for a little while. And um, what I was doing was using the arrow to usher him in, like trying to push him against the shore. And the strength of the crab, the claws they have, it just bit this carbon fiber, carbon fiber arrow and snapped it clean in half. So he's just cracked me arrow in half, but we've got a beautiful crab to chuck on the fire and the day's only begun. So what I've done, you can see him, he's very limp. He's already asleep. I've put him to sleep pretty much straight away. What you can do is, it's brain, if you come in on an angle, you can sleep crab straight away. Because I'm out here in the bush, I've got no ice, I've got nothing to put him on ice. He's just gonna go straight in my backpack. I don't want our crab to be suffering in my hot backpack. So we put him to sleep straight through the head there. He's sleeping, no more pain for him. And um, look, we've got one crab on the board and we've just started this mission. So lucky I brought a second arrow. Let's keep walking, see what else we can get. But I'm happy with that, mate. That's gonna feed us. Look at the size of him. That's gonna be a good feed later around the fire. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Mwah. Beautiful. This is a big mullet. Oh, 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 this is a long shot, but let's have a shot. Oh, you mongrel. He just took off as that arrow passed his head. Did you see that? That was close. Look at this, look at them all. So I'm just walking through these flats. I'm about knee deep water, seeing lots of fish, trying to be selective. And then I've just come across this incredibly beautiful crab. Look at the colors of his nippers here. He is beautiful. He's a big boy. He's a big, big boy. They're probably a little bit bigger than the one we just got. That's a big crab. Have a look at him, he's beautiful. Righto. Let's see if we can get him up on the bank like we did the last one. We can't break this arrow. This is our last arrow. All right, let's go. All right, what this crab's actually doing is, he's going out of deep water and I cannot deter him into the shallows. So what I'm gonna to try to do, wrap a little bit of fishing line, which I had in my bag from the last episode. I'm gonna to try to wrap it around him somehow, if we can get it. And that's how we're gonna get him up. Come on. There we go. All right, let's get him to the shore as quick as possible. We're using fishing line on one end. He's gonna get, he's gonna ping that off. We're gonna run. Gotta go, gotta go. He's a big boy. He's coming around for the kill shot. Oi. Yeah, he's beautiful crab. He is a proper, proper buck. Look at the size of this bloody crab. Now that is what I come out here for. That is a big, big crab, man. You guys can see the nippers on that thing. He is monstrous. Look at the color of his claws. Beautiful blues, greens in his claws. He's a very clean, you can see that he's been out in the salt water and not in the mud flats. He's very clean. There's no mud on him. Oh, he's heavy. He'd go two and a half kilo probably. He's a big boy. That is epic. It's actually a lot easier just walking the flats looking for fish. And then these crabs are just cruising around in the shallow water looking for a feed themselves. And you just, what we did then, we just tangled him up in the fishing line. We just dragged him up on the shore because he was going straight out to deep water. But that is another beautiful crab. This has got to be one of my favorite things you could ever do, ever. It's the most enjoyable. Two black tip reef sharks 
cruising along the bank looking for a feed. And then just here, there's a massive crab hole. That is a big mud crab hole. You can see it's a fresh hole. All of those shells and bits of coral have been excavated very recently. You can see the sand is all white and then that's black sand there. So there's a crab living in that hole right now, but we'll come back to that on low tide. We'll see if we can get him out. There's definitely something living in there. Look at this. There's no shortage of wildlife around here. Oh, that's a beautiful one too. He's obviously seen better days. He's dead, he's old. He smells like a bin. That's another beautiful crab. Look at the colors on that thing. Unfortunately, he's not edible. Poor little fella, wonder what happened to him. Anyway, the fish are gonna have a feeding frenzy on that. Beautiful crab. <laughs> have a look at this. There's not a breath of wind right now. Feels like I'm on another planet, man. It is absolutely incredible. I've just gone back to the car. I've put those two crabs in the fridge. They're chilling. The meat is gonna be absolutely bloody beautiful. Also what I've done is, I've went and changed my arrows. So now I've got some um, aluminium arrows. The reason I've got the aluminium arrows are, this tide is very quickly draining out and I'm gonna start shooting into reef and I'm gonna start shooting into rocks. So these arrows have a little bit less more potential of damage, but there's something that I wanna show you is just over here. Very, very bloody interesting. Check this out. Have a look at this. See this fella right here? That's a crab. Watch this. Oh, good morning, beautiful. He's in there. Look at him. Oh, oh, he's not happy at all. Oh, ho, ho. look at him. There it is, there's a beautiful crab. He's obviously, I'm actually gonna take a guess and say that's a female. Beautiful big shell, little baby nippers. That would be a female mud crab. We're gonna let her live. We've got two crabs, there's plenty of feed. We'll let her go. But that one was just taking cover in the mud there. So there's a lot of crabs around. See you later, beautiful. Be good. Have a go at this. There is still not a breath of wind out here. And that tide has literally just, uh, just, it's just started draining out in the last 10 to 15 minutes. This is where we were walking before and we were in knee deep water. And now it is bone dry. So what happens is when that tide drains out like it has, all those crabs that were walking around in this water, they go and take shelter in their little holes, all these cracks in the reef. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go find our um, crab hook, which is somewhere in this mangrove system. Honestly, I got no idea where I left it. I just sort of stuck it in the mud. I got way too carried away having the bow and arrow, having too much fun. So we've got to go find the crab hook. And um, what we'll do is, because these crabs are taking shelter in their holes now, we'll go get that crab hook. We'll have a poke around in all those holes that we've seen previously. And fingers crossed we can pull another crab out of one of his holes. Unfortunately, on that high tide, we didn't really get the opportunity that I thought we would have to lay an arrow through a fish which kind of sucks, but um, there's always tomorrow. There's a lot of fish around that just weren't really worth having a shot at, to be honest. So we'll put the bow and arrow away. We'll go find this crab hook. We'll see if we can get one or two more crabs and have an absolutely juicy feed around the fire this arvo. There should still be a couple of big crabs around. Who knows? Look at this, there still is not a breath of wind and it's, <laughs> it's bloody incredible. I live for this kind of thing right now. Look at it. That is an incredible crab hole. That is what we want to see. First thing I do, first thing I always do is try to look from the side. See if you can see a couple of legs. You know what? That's a crab's leg right there. Just come in real gentle. Have a poke around. Ooh, that's a crab. Hear that? Oh yeah, that's a crab. All right, we got a crab, we got a crab, we got a crab. <gasps> All right, that's a decent crab. We got a crab in this hole for sure. 100% crab in this hole. You hear the ting, ting, ting? That's not the rocks, that's the crab's shell. All right, we got a crab in this hole, here we go. 
Yeah, boy. It seems pretty big. Oh my, oh! Look at this. Oh my goodness. Oh my God, he's coming out. Don't even have to scoop him out. Look at this. <laughs> Are you joking? That's another monster of a crab. He was easy to get out of his hole. You're not going back in, mate. Look at the size of that. That is an incredible crab. So that's what I'm talking about. When that tide sucks out and they've got nowhere to go, they'll come and hide in these holes and you can provide yourself with an incredible crab. Here's a big boy. Another incredibly purple, beautiful purple color on these crabs. He's lovely. Yes. Well, that was as easy as picking your bloody nose, wasn't it? Have a go at him. He is another beautiful crab. He won't let go of the stick, but check out the colors on him. Beautiful big male, another buck. He's got that beautiful purpley blue color to him all over his whole entire body. Look at him. He is another decent crab. You wouldn't want that claw to grab you by the finger. Tell you what, you'd lose it, mate. It snapped that carbon fiber arrow in half straight away. So that is another bloody beautiful crab. They're gonna keep him because I'm feeding myself. I'm feeding Mac 10. And I promised, I said, we're gonna have a big feed around the fire. So that's three crabs. He's a bloody gorgeous crab too. All right, let's chuck him in the bag and um, we'll keep pushing on. That was the first hole that we found. Big crab in it. He is gorgeous. Look at him. Oh, doesn't get much better than that, doggies. Tell you what, there's a big boy. I tell you what, we're gonna be eating bloody good tonight. Have a look at that hole over there. There's another hole just up here. Doesn't take, here doesn't take long to find the crab ground. Mmm. Very shallow, very empty. It's not a very big hole compared to the one we just checked. He's empty. Here we go. Possible big mama's house. You can see here, little baby crab just there. You see him? There's a little crab sitting there. But this is where the big boy will live. That is a big hole. Let's see if we can see him in there. Can't really see a lot right now, but that's a good hole. Slowly, slowly go in. Oh my God, listen, listen. Listen to that, that's a crab. 100% crab in there. 100% crab. All right, what you gotta do is get the hook. You wanna get the hook around the back of the crab. That's, yeah, it feels like a good crab too. Here we go. Hooks around the back of the crab. Definitely around the back. Look at the size of that claw, bro! No way. This is a bloody good crab. Oh my goodness. Oh my good God. Out you come, big boy. Come on. Oh no. Come out of here. That, oh, look at the size of that claw. This is the crab of all crabs right now. This is party time, doggies. This is party time. Well, come on, come on, big boy. Oh my god. <laughs> Are you kidding? Look at the size of that crab. Hubba Baba is all I can say. That is a massive buck. Look at the size of those claws. Look at my little puny hand compared to that crab claw there. That thing is the monster. Holy shit. He just come out of that little hole. Look at the size of that. That is a big crab, man. That's the biggest crab of the day, by far. Wow. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. So I've said to myself, I wanted to catch four crabs today. If I can nail four crabs in a row, I'll be bloody happy. And I tell you what, I am bloody happy. We have got four monstrous crabs. The last one being the biggest. If you look at the size of that claw there, that is a proper, proper mud crab claw. 
one of my favorite eating things in the ocean. I'm holding it in my hand right now. That is a bloody beautiful crab. Look, I could probably go around here and get another 10 more. I could easily get my limit today. There's a lot of crabs around here, but four, four is all we need. Two crabs each, that's, that is, a, two crabs each is a massive feed. And um, I don't want to take any more than this, but that's it. We've done our, we've done our four crab limit. What I might do is I'll just go for a quick walk up the coast there. We'll see if we can find a few more holes, see if there's a few crabs in there, but we'll just leave him in there for somebody else. We'll leave him in there for the breeding and the next time. But that is incredible. That is our last crab of the day. Didn't take too long to find him. Definitely made up for the bow and arrow fishing, that's for sure. He is a buck and a half. Big, beautiful crab, look at that. Very happy. We're eating good. We are eating real good. Look at the size of it. Tell you what, being out here catching these crabs, it is one of the, I've probably said it a hundred times this video, it's one of the best things you can ever do. But you gotta put up with the sand flies and the mosquitoes. And that's, um, that's the next level thing. Check my legs out. I have sand fly bites all over me. And if you guys know how bad sand fly bites are, they are the most excruciating, painful, little bloody things. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this, but if you can see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, I can just keep going and going and going. My legs are absolutely covered in sand fly bites right now. So I'm gonna have a couple of sleepless nights after this mission, but it's um, it's worth every second. Usually you can put bug spray on or whatever, but I forgot completely forgot the bug spray. Anyway, you gotta be in it to win it, and it's all good. I'm gonna punch back to the car. We're gonna go to another place. We're gonna start up a fire, and um, we're gonna have one hell of a feed. That's 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 for sure. Ah, see, look at that. Stand still for a few few seconds, and you get smoked, man. <sighs> all right, let's get out of here. All right, here we go. We've got enough wood to cook four big, beautiful crabs. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna kick a fire in the ass and we're gonna cook up some of the most beautiful food ever. We're not just cooking crabs. We're gonna make an incredible dipping sauce out here in the bush. I'm telling you right now, it's gonna make your mouth water. So go to the kitchen, put your bibs on. This is gonna be bloody beautiful. How easy was that? Here she goes. Yes, sir. So the key to cooking these crabs is 110% salt water. Never, but never cooks mud crabs in fresh water. It will not taste good. Well, you can, like, of course you can, but it's just not gonna taste as good as the natural environment they come out of. So I've just walked about, what's that, a kilometer out on this low tide reef. So I'm gonna go collect some of that salt water. We're gonna be using this pot and we're gonna be boiling the crabs in this pot over that fire. All right, so we're just gonna sit this pot on those two rocks that we've strategically placed there and that should boil in about 10 to 15 minutes. That water should be pretty hot. That is pumping out a whole lot of heat right now. All right, I'm gonna go start this secret recipe. It's a secret dipping sauce, and it is gonna make these crabs better than they already are. I hope so anyway. All right, here's our first two crabs we're gonna drop in the pot. Two big boys, that water's just started boiling. So one crab in. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cook two crabs and then um, we'll do the other two a little bit later. 
just two and two. All right, so here we've very slightly oiled up a pan. Here we have a couple of garlic cloves, half an onion. So that's gonna go onto the pan. Oh, listen to it sizzle. There's nothing like cooking in the bush. All right, we're gonna wait till this onion and garlic goes down and gets nicely caramelized. Have a go at this, that sun. We don't have long, she's gonna be gone. So we're racing that sun once again. Mac 10, she's down here, she's doing the onions. Just getting it nice and golden. Look at that, they're getting real golden. Those crabs, we're just about to start that 20 minute timer. So it's not quite boiling. Once it really starts boiling, 20 minute timer starts. But we're looking good. The kitchen views, bloody incredible. Don't forget, Mac 10, she started a YouTube channel. Oh yeah, we have a second YouTube channel, so you can see our videos there as well. So you guys can see the background of my channel, what we do in the background. If you haven't got to subscribe to that channel, it's called... Mackie and Matt, subscribe, like, all those good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> what a plug. <laughs> all right, no more of that stuff. Oh, well, that is getting golden and brown. Let's go. Right, so the onion and garlic is nice and golden brown. What we're gonna do is we're gonna chuck in a little bit of this authentic Thai Penang, Penang curry paste. I don't know, it doesn't matter. We don't, we don't really have a recipe. We're just having a little bit of fun, but I'll tell you what, it's gonna taste bloody incredible. So we're gonna dump on, I don't know, a little bit of this curry paste. A little bit more. All right, we're gonna mix that up, let that simmer, and then there's a couple more ingredients to go on top. All right, in goes a can of coconut cream. Oh, this is gonna be the most incredible dipping sauce. Just in time for sunset. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna pour that hot salt water out here. I'm gonna quickly run back down to the ocean. I'm gonna fill this pot up with cold salt water and then just let them sit for five minutes in the cold water and then we're about to dig in. The crabs look incredible. That sauce looks next level. It's basically a curry really, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, that's gonna be a crazy dipping sauce. Let's go get these in a little bit of fresh water, cold water, and they're gonna, we're gonna dig in. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right, how bloody good does this look? We've got a chopping board, full on ocean basket right there. That is just full of mud crab, incredible. Here we've got that dipping sauce that we made. That's looking top notch. That's gonna taste pretty good. It's basically, it's a curry, but whatever. All right, let's dig into that claw. Have a look at the size of that claw. There's my hand, there's the claw. It's a big boy. Let's have a crack. Oh yeah. Oh, look at this. Are you ready to dip it into that sauce? All right, so we started this morning off hunting in the mangroves and we've ended down here on the beach around a fire with a beautiful sunset and one of the biggest feeds of our lives. So that there is what we call an ocean lollipop. That is all meat. We're gonna dip it straight into that dipping sauce. Get all those juices on it. Look at that. You ready? This is gonna be bloody incredible. <laughs> oh my good God. Mac 10, put that camera down. Get your ass here. That is incredible. Babe, seriously get in here right now. Look at this. Wait, wait till you wrap your lips around that sauce on that. Do you wanna buy that? Yeah. Go, you can have the whole bloody thing. This is incredibly good. Oh my God. How good is that sauce? Yeah, it's so yum. Well, we've got a big night ahead of us. Mm. So we're only able to cook two of those crabs because the pot wasn't big enough. So what we're gonna do is quickly smash this feed 
We'll probably be here till about 10 o'clock tonight, but I'm gonna cook those other crabs because um, it's better off to cook them fresh. And then we'll all, uh, I'll probably have them later to be honest, but if we don't, we'll eat them tomorrow for lunch or whatever. But that was one hell of a mission. Good, eh? <laughs> yeah, the sauce is delicious. Yeah, I know that sauce is what it's all about. It's so salty. Mm -hmm. All right, we've got about five minutes of sunlight left and that is it. Thank you so much for hanging out with us doggies and we will see you in the next video on the next adventure. Don't forget, if you want to grab your merch, smash this button here. If you haven't subscribed yet, smash this button here and we will see you in the next adventure somewhere else. Much love doggies. Ow!